What's going on bodybuilding.com subscribers? My name is Amanda, I'm a bodybuilding.com athlete and today we're in downtown Los Angeles and we have a workout to do. We're here at Barbell Brigade so we're gonna head inside, get a workout in and I'm gonna show you guys uh, what's in my gym bag today too. So let's head inside. I'm gonna go over what's currently in my gym bag. So I got this gym bag from Lululemon. It was a gift for my coach and his wife for Christmas. So I just wanted to say thank you to them. But the first thing I keep in my gym bag is chapstick. I cannot go anywhere without chapstick. So if I don't have it in my bag, I am like screwed. The next thing I have in my bag is a extra camera battery because I am a YouTuber. And if I don't have a camera battery, then I always just, I, I always need either a charger or a battery. I'm really bad at forgetting that. So I try to keep that in my bag but that's not something you might necessarily need in your bag. The next thing I always keep is a pair of headphones. Again, I'm really bad with making sure that they're charged, so I try to keep two. One of them that'll be like a wireless one. I like the Bose SoundSport headphones. Those are my favorite that I've found so far. They stay in my ears really well, and they're not like big bulky, like other bulkier headphones. And then I also keep just like the regular iPhone earphones that just in case those ones die, I have an extra pair. The next thing that I have in my bag is some supplements just in case I forget. So creatine is something that I take every single day. It comes with the PE Science True Creatine. It comes with the full dose of creatine. And with creatine, I'm sure you guys have seen on bodybuilding.com, but if you don't know, you are supposed to take creatine every single day to keep it built up in your system. It just helps you lift more weight. It helps you increase your power output, which then helps you lift more weight, which then helps you build more muscle. And then I also keep the PE Science High Volume in my bag. So that particular product is not a caffeine. It's not a stimulant. It's just a pump enhancer. And because I am a bodybuilder, powerlifter hybrid, I like having that extra blood flow when I'm doing a combination workout like I did today. The, the next thing that I keep in my bag is a pair of knee sleeves. So if I'm squatting, I try to keep those knee sleeves in there. You can get these on bodybuilding.com. They're the slingshot brand. Um, it just helps warm your knee joint up a little bit and just kind of protects your knees a little bit more than if you had absolutely nothing. So I like to keep those in there. The next thing I keep is a pair of sneakers. So when I'm deadlifting, I like to wear chucks. They're flat to the ground. And when you're deadlifting, you want your shoes to be as flat as possible just to keep the center of gravity and to make sure you're not falling forward or falling backward because a running shoe is kind of wavy at the bottom. But if I'm squatting, I like to have a little bit of a heel on my shoe and those are Nike Romelios. The next thing that I keep is a lifting belt. So I really, really like a lever belt. That's one that I have. You can get one on bodybuilding.com as well. I have a 10 millimeter and four inch thick belt and it's a lever belt so it clips. But you can also get a prong belt which is just a regular belt and it goes through the hole and it, it just does the regular belt thing. <laughs> I also keep a band in my bag as well. I love warming up with bands and I love doing some glute activation with the band and stuff like that. So I try to keep a band in there just in case I don't have one at the particular gym that I'm going to. So that's just a really good thing to keep in there. I like also keeping a lacrosse ball in my bag as well. So if you guys have ever used a foam roller before, you know how great it feels to warm up a little bit with mobility work, use a foam roller. Keeping a lacrosse ball kind of does the same thing. It's just really more targeted. It's really small and it does the same exact job. What's going on bodybuilding.com fam? I hope you guys enjoyed that what's in my gym bag segment. You can get most of that stuff on bodybuilding.com as well as the PE Science supplements that I showed you guys. You can get them on there. So I'm gonna take you guys through my workout today. So you guys saw in the beginning of these clips that I did a little bit of a dynamic warm up. That just means you're not stretching statically. You're moving, you're moving the muscles around and your body in a way that's going to help you warm up for the particular lifts that you're doing. So today I was training legs. So I started off doing some sumo deadlifts. So I am a power lifter and I absolutely love deadlifting. So sumo just means that you have your feet out at an angle as opposed to straight forward and then your hands are in between your legs as opposed to on the side of them. So my working sets here were 185 um, for the sumo and then I switched to conventional deadlifts as well because I like to practice both. Conventional just means that your feet are together, um, shoulder width apart, not directly together, and then your hands are right outside your shin. So um, I actually do have a squat and deadlift tutorial video on my YouTube channel as long as, um, as well as the one that I refer people back to constantly, the one that Lane Norton did on this YouTube channel, bodybuilding.com YouTube channel. So check any of those out if you guys are interested in learning more about how to fix your form. If you feel like it's off, it probably is for a reason and there's a lot of different things that you have to pay attention to when you're doing your compound lifts. Next you see me here doing single leg body weight glute bridges. So I really, really enjoy doing these. I have 
especially like doing them as a warm up and then also after um, just for some glute isolation as well because it really helps you activate your glutes before you're doing compound lifts. But I also just like really feeling that squeeze and doing things single leg truly helps me feel that. I also really love doing a hip hinging movement on a leg day. So this is a stiff leg deadlift. I think I had about 30 pounds in my hands. Next, I love, love doing, obviously here I am doing another glute isolation exercise, glute kickback. So um, I always tell people, especially females, that a combination between compound lifting, so a squat, a deadlift, things like that, um, and some glute isolation, hamstring isolation, and quad isolation is really gonna help you build muscle in the best, most optimal way. I also ended my workout here with cable crunches, three sets of 25, and that is all for the workout today, guys. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a really fun time making the what's in my gym bag portion of the video along with the workout. Hope you guys got something out of it. If you want to follow me specifically, you can go ahead and find me on almost all social medias at Fit. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter there. If you wanna find out anything more about me further, you can go to amandabucci.com, that's my website. And if you're looking for anything in particular that I put in this video in terms of like equipment or supplements, you can get them right here on bodybuilding.com. This is YouTube though, so you have to go to bodybuilding.com and get out of this. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will catch you somewhere else on the internet. Bye.